Hi, it's Handy Andy Tech Tips here. And today I'm going to show you how to copy a set of files listed in a text document from one folder to another. As an example, you can see that I have a folder called Full MP3 Collection. This contains my entire music library, all the albums and all the songs. I also have this playlist in plain text format, which lists the big hits from each album. You can see that each line has the album folder name followed by the file name. What I want to do is copy only these files in the playlist from my main MP3 collection to the playlist subset folder. That way, I can put the songs on the USB stick and play them in my car. Now before we get started, I should warn you that this is a more advanced tutorial than some of my videos, and it assumes some elementary knowledge of programming concepts. So to get started, go to your favourite text editor, I'm using Notepad++, and create a new batch file. I'll call mine copy playlist subset dot bat. Now the first command that you want to add is at echo off. This basically cleans up the output of the script. If this line were omitted, all of the subsequent commands would be displayed or echoed on the screen, which we don't want. The next command is chcp65001 greater than null. We can see from this information page on the excellent website ss64.com that chcp is used to change the character encoding of the command line. 65001 means UTF-8 or Unicode, so what we're doing here is allowing the copy process to support special characters in the file names. The redirection to null basically just hides the output of the command, which we don't really need to see. Now we're going to create a for loop. The slash f means that it iterates over a series of files. We're also going to specify some options for the loop. The first one, use back q, allows us to use longer file names for the source files as long as they're enclosed in double quotes. The second option, dlims, tells the batch script how to separate out the files listed in the text document. By leaving this blank, it indicates that different lines mean different files. Next we'll add our loop variable, represented by %%i, and we'll say that the files are listed in C, MP3s, Full MP3 Collection, Classic Hits Solid Gold M3U8. So we've defined the loop, now let's add its body. We'll type do, and then in brackets we'll put what we want to do for each iteration of the loop. And we're going to be using xcopy with the slash s parameter, which will duplicate the directory structure of the source in the destination, as well as copying the files. So it's going to copy from C, MP3s, full MP3 collection, and then the current file, which is represented by the variable. And the destination is going to be C, MP3s, playlist subset, and then the variable, but we've got this little asterisk at the end. What's that all about? Well, it works to silence this prompt, which you would normally get with every single file the batch script tried to copy. And we're almost done. The last command that you need to enter is pause. This just adds a press any key to continue message after the batch script has executed. Great, now it's time to save your script and try it out. I'll go into a command line, navigate to the parent directory containing the source and destination, and also the batch script, and type copy playlist subset dot bat. And we're off. I'll just pause for a minute and you can see that the output is quite nicely formatted as well. You'll know that it's finished copying all the files when it says press any key to continue. So I'll go back to Windows Explorer and open up the playlist subset and look at that. The entire directory structure and all the files that I wanted have been successfully copied. You can tell that because the playlist has 1426 files listed in it and the folder has the same amount. Hey, I'm Handy Andy and I really hope that you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching.